Hi friends, welcome back to uh, All or None Law. Today, today's topic is about uh, findings of um, synovial fluid uh, in a pediatric patient. So uh, these are the this is a beautiful table. You can memorize it because uh, you need to diagnose the disease, the joint disease, jo joint disorder by the lab findings. That's why this is very beautiful table. So just go through once that's it okay before starting this I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is all on and law uh, and please tell your friends to subscribe you can tell them through their Facebook email or a Twitter account whichever is convenient to you because we need your support we need your feedback okay we want you to help you better so please help us to help you. Uh, okay, let me start with this as a joint uh, what do you call sign of fluid uh, sign of fluid analysis Okay, the first thing what we have are uh, three things that is a uh, uh, non-inflammatory inflammatory and the pyogenic and the other things what we have is a color and the clarity uh, viscosity WBC count PM and count and other findings uh, In a non-inflammatory normal what you see if the, there's a normal finding how does it the synovial fluid looks like it's a yellow and the clear so viscosity is very high uh, WBC cells are less than 200 remember very important if they give the history and they say that the baby was uh, brought to the ER or sometimes uh, to the um, uh, your office for this evaluation for a uh, joint pain and they give the WBC 180 150 so try to remember if less than 200 it's normal okay PMN less than 20 Fine. Okay, traumatic arthritis, uh, xanthochromic and the turbid uh, viscosity is high and the WBC discount is still uh, less than 2000. Very important. PMN is less than 25. And the other finding debris can be seen. Inflammatory, very important. Chronic arthritis, yellow and the cloudy decrease. Viscosity is very decreased. And the WBC count is a 15 to 20,000. Very important is the WBC and the clarity. Uh, what do you call cl color? That's very important for your examination. And even PM and also uh, it's around the 75 reactive arthritis yellow and the opaque decrease and it's a 20,000 okay just remember about this count the count is very important um, the pyogenic that is a tuberculosis arthritis is a yellow white and a cloudy decrease uh, is it around 25,000 and the 50 to 60 uh, PMNs and uh, the other findings what you can see is acid first uh, bacteria so that is the cause for uh, tuberculosis uh, arthritis, right? Tuberculosis, what do you call it? Septic arthritis is very important because the management is totally different from uh, other types of inflammatory or uh, non-inflammatory uh, joint pains. So that's why you need to know this. This is very important. Septic arthritis, serosanguinous and turbid. The viscosity is uh, decreased and the WBC count is more than 50,000. Very, very important is the septic arthritis, remember? Okay, so PMN is more than 75, low glucose and the bacteria are present. This is very beautiful table, just go through once. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, guys, now just I will give you a pause so that you can revise very well. Okay, go ahead and revise once again. We have a plenty of videos uh, on, your on our channel. So if you go to our channel, um, you can find plenty of uh, what you call videos we are uploading day by day. Every day we are working hard. We, we are, we are, uh, we are striving our hard to explain you better. And we want you to do uh, very well in your uh, board examinations like USMLE examinations, SEMA, CPCH, AMC, or um, uh, Canadian examinations or IFORM examination, whatever. So just help us by sending your uh, by giving your feedback and please tell your friends to subscribe because if you watch then uh, you can find some errors or mistakes you can tell us we can we are here to uh, sincerely we will apologize and we will correct okay guys um, okay I think you are done with this video thank you so much for watching my video take care